welcome to the UK Hand Knitting Learn to Knit workshop. Today we are going to learn the basics of casting on the knit stitch, increasing and decreasing to make this very attractive zigzag scarf. This is based on a design by Christy Cam called Tic Tac, which you can find on Ravelry, but her original design was in four ply. Um, which is a thin yarn, so we thought we would put it into DK, which is a little bit more substantial. This version of the zigzag is done in Starcraft Cabaret. This version is Rico Melange DK. You can see how different colours work. Some work more subtly together, some you, it's nice to have that bright pop. This is Fairground from James Brett, which has a lovely kind of, almost like a fair Isle effect to it. And if you're looking for a nice subtle blend of colours, this is Rascal from Sirdar, which looks quite Missoni, I think, it's beautiful. And then we've also done one sample, which is in a chunky yarn. This is Riot by King Cole Chunky. Um, and just I just wanted you to see that it, this pattern works in all different weights of yarn. So if you were looking for um, a nice thick scarf, maybe you would choose this yarn. So let's start with casting on. The first thing you need to do is to make a slip knot. So I wind the yarn round my finger so I've got a loop. And then I push the yarn through and just tighten it to create this little slip knot. Some people they put the yarn round like that and then they use their knitting needle or crochet hook to pull the loop up to pull the loop through and then it's already on your needle. So the thumb cast on is very easy. What you do is you wrap the yarn round your thumb. Can you see? I've wrapped it round my thumb. So I have a loop there. And where the two yarns cross, see they're crossing there, that is my loop. And I just pull it onto the needle. Don't pull it too tight because you've got to the, otherwise it makes knitting the first row hard. So again, I wrap it round my thumb and put it on the needle, there we go. Wrap it round my thumb and put it on the needle, like that. So you can see we're already making things that look like stitches, how exciting. So for today's um, example, the pattern calls for 72 stitches to make the actual scarf. Today we're just going to do 36 so you can get the hang of what we're what we're doing with the knitting and the increasing and the decreasing. So we need to make 36 of these stitches. So here we are, we have our 36 stitches ready to go. So now it's time to learn to knit. I'm going to put my yarn on the right hand side. The, the needle with the stitches on is in my left hand. So now I'm going to go into the first stitch. Can you see I've gone into the loop? Into the first stitch. I pick up the yarn and I wrap it round the needle and then I carefully come back through. So I've now got one loop on my right needle and then we don't need this on the left needle anymore. We just slip it off. So that's one stitch knitted. So we'll show that again. Into the loop. If you find your loops are getting a bit tight, just try and ease them open a bit with the needle. There we go, that's better. So I'm going into the loop, round the needle, back through, and then I'm slipping that off and I'm gradually slipping the other stitches up the needle. Into the loop, 
wrapping the yarn round the right needle and back through. And don't forget to slip it off, otherwise you'll end up with too many stitches. In, round and back through and slip it off. Into the loop, round with the yarn, come back through and slip it off. And we're going to knit all the rest of the stitches till we get to the end of the row. I'm now at the last stitch. I've knitted 35 stitches and this was the slip knot that we made originally. So I'm just going to knit the last stitch. So I finished my first row and all of my stitches are on my right hand needle. Now to start the next row you simply put that needle in your left hand and start all over again. So you go into the stitch, wrap the yarn round, go back through. Into the stitch, go back round, come through. Into the stitch, go round, oops, back through. And again, don't forget to slip that left stitch off when you finished with it, because you don't need it anymore. There we go. You'll find that as you practice more and more, the movements will become a little bit more fluid for you. But don't forget, you've already learnt to cast on and you're now actually knitting. So this pattern calls for us to change colour every two rows. I've just knitted my second row and I'm ready to put introduce my new colour, which is this lovely red. So what I'm going to do, you can tidy this up later, but I tend to just to make sure the yarn is stable and you don't get any gappy stitches, is I just tie it round the, the other yarn, like that. So now, we're starting the pattern now. I hope you've, you're quite confident in your knit stitch because now we're going to learn to increase and decrease. So the pattern asks us, if you read it, to knit one, we're knitting five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Now it says do something called a knit two together. So that means we're going to be knitting this stitch and this stitch together at the same time. So you want to put your get your needle in from the back of the second stitch there, through both of them, you can see I'm through both, and then knit and slip both of them off. So that's a knit two together. We'll have a look at that again in a second. Now the pattern says you need to knit four. One, two, three, four, and now it asks you to do something called a KFB, which means knit into the front and into the back of the stitch. So, move that out of the way so you can see. So, to knit into the front is what you normally do, like that, and we come back through, but we're not slipping this off yet because we're now going to go into the back of the stitch. Can you see that right needle is crossing behind? I'm still in the loop, crossing behind, and I'm going to knit, and now I can slip it off. So whereas with the knit two together we lost a stitch, with the knit front and back we've made the stitch up. And if you look at the, the fabric that we're going to end up producing, this, is the knit front and back where you produce, you're making that extra stitch and this is the knit two together. So th that pairing um, gives you this wonderful zigzag. So now the pattern occurs every 12 stitches. So I know I've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve 12 stitches. What I often do so I know when I'm starting the next what we call a pattern repeat is I'll put a stitch marker in or what you can do is just do a little loop 
of a bright coloured yarn. Now you're not going to knit that, you're going to slip that as you go along each row. So now I know I'm starting the pattern again. So it's knit one, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to knit two together. So just get into the back of the second stitch like that. Oops. Sometimes you might find that you just need to ease them off with the other needle. Right. So I'm going through those two loops and I'm going to knit, knit two together. Then I'm knitting four. One. You'll start to remember this pattern really easily. Two, three, four. Now I'm knitting into the front and back. Knit into the front, but don't lose the loop. Then go over the top of the loop into the back. There you go, I've made a stitch there and now I can let go of that loop. Now I've come to the end of the 12 stitch repeat. So I'm putting another stitch marker on. One, two, three, four, five. That means I've got to knit two together, putting these two stitches together. Oops. There we go. Knit one, two, three, four, and knit into the front and into the back. Now I've completed the first row of the second colour. So here we are, we're on the second row of the colour and the pattern is exactly the same no matter what row you're on. So I know I have to knit one. See, I'm just showing you, if you don't want to tension it around your fingers, you can just do that. Two. I find I use my index fingers a lot to move stitches around and nudge needles around. Four. Is that four? Yeah. Five. Then I'm going to knit the two together. Knit one, two, three, four. And I'm going to knit into the front, swooping over, knit into the back of that stitch. And I know I'm right, it's all in the right place because here's my stitch marker and what I do is just move it from one needle to the other, not knitting it, just so because it marks where I am in the pattern. So one, oops, your yarn shop will probably have lots of um, really pretty little stitch markers that you can buy as well four, five, knit two together. And we've chosen um, yarns that change colour, um, but you could do this with a, with a solid colour yarn or even leftovers of yarn. It's entirely up to you. We just rather like the, the way the colours, it's always, you're like on a magical mystery tour. You never know what colour's coming next. Or what colour is going to sit next to which? This is my knit front and back. There we go. Moving my last stitch marker over. Oops. There we go. So now one, two, three, four, five. Knit front, knit two together rather. And I think also, as it's as this could be your first project, it's quite nice to have a yarn that gives you a little bit of excitement as you're going along. Three, four, knit front and knit back. There we go. So now we've finished two rows. You can see there, we've done one row in the first color, uh, two rows in the first color, 
two rows in the second colour, so you've done a stripe in each colour now. So now we've got to change colour again, because we left that yarn hanging when we started with the wine colour yarn. So to start the next row, you pick up the first, your original yarn, or the yarn you've not been using, and just bring it to the back over the second yarn. And then you can start off as you were before. One, two, three, four, five, knit two together. One, two, three, four, knit into the front and knit into the back. So you can see the we're starting to get the little peaks where the knit two togethers are. Congratulations, you've learnt to cast on, you've learnt to knit and you've learnt to increase and decrease and you're going to end up with a lovely scarf like one of these samples here. To finish your work you need to cast off. It is always best to do it on a knit row. Knit two stitches using the point of your left hand needle. Slip it into the first stitch knitted and pass it over the second stitch knitted. Knit another stitch and repeat by passing the first stitch over the most recent. Repeat across the row until you have one stitch remaining. Cut the yarn and slip through the last stitch and pull tight. You have now learnt how to complete your work.